Hey everyone, in today's video I will be talking about how I ship some of my glass items. I will be packing a Santa plate set and some glass ornaments that are very breakable. I've had really good luck shipping my items this way for several years so I feel pretty confident in the way I ship these. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Let's get on into it. When I'm shipping my glass plates, I always first include my invoice along with wash instructions. I like to fold the bubble wrap over about three times one way, flip my plate around, and then wrap another three times the other direction. Once you're done with that, you just tape it all the way around. When I'm packaging up the milk jug, I roll this a few times on the bubble wrap and then I tape the bottom and top over just like this. Once that is done, I tape the jug on the top of the plate just to keep everything together during shipment. When I'm putting them in the shipping box, I always put down a brown contractor paper just bunched up, the plate set on top of that, and then add more brown paper on the top. This keeps it snug in the middle and it won't move around during shipment. Then I just tape my box shut and I always include fragile stickers. Next, I'm going to package up these super breakable ornaments. My bubble wrap comes in 12 by 12 squares that you can tear off, so these work perfectly for these ornaments. I always put these ornaments in these Christmas boxes from Walmart, or you could get them at the Dollar Tree, before I place them in the shipping box. So all I do is take my ornament and then roll it in the bubble wrap just like this. Once the ornaments rolled up, I put them inside of the white box, kind of in the corner, and you can fit up to six of the ornaments inside of the boxes. So the reason I like to put these inside of a box and then again in a shipping box is because it's really good to ship double boxed when you're shipping glass items. It keeps them more safe, and I've actually had really good luck shipping this way.
So just like the Santa plates, I always include the brown contractor paper down first, then my ornaments, and then I put contractor paper again on the top and it keeps it nice and snug in the middle. So here I was just showing you how you can fit six of these ornaments in this size box. So this is a 12 count ornament order and what I do is I ship two boxes, tie them up together, and then I don't put contractor paper on the bottom, I just kind of fit it around the ends and the edges and just keep it snug in the middle. I really like using the contractor paper because it's pretty cheap to get a large roll and you can use a lot of it and it takes a lot of the force. If your box gets damaged or anything like that, the um, contractor paper keeps things pretty safe. That was it for this video guys. I hope they all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.